And we're live.
Woo-hoo. Welcome to Joker Joker TV, Woo-hoo. episode 120. Um, I'm Rickshot Ricochet, and I uh, got with me Mr. Mux Blank. So, mine's a little behind what we are live. Yeah. Oh, there so you go. Okay, so I can hear us really good. Yeah, he's oh, testing. Yeah. Okay. It uh, we, we just had to test sound to make sure the. Uh, Headsets were working right. okay and all that kind of good stuff. <laughs> yeah. We're so, uh, taking the headsets off just to kind of kick back and not be so serious all the time. Yeah. We um, don't have to hear every single thing we say. Well, I can hear it a little bit, but it's a little little shaky. A little so, bit shaky, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like in well, and out. Well, you did seem a little bit nervous, you know, <laughs> just before we started. So uh, yeah. maybe that's it. Maybe it's because well, we're at episode 120. 120. Wow. So we got a whole bunch of really cool stuff coming up. Yeah. So that there in the opening was uh, uh, At Swim, and the song was called um, Pling. And that's from the Zuby Records. Uh, they, Zuby Records. We uh, featured something from Zuby Records a couple months back. Uh, the Fabulous uh, were released on Zuby Records. Oh, yeah. Uh, I th- if I got the name right, I think it was The Fabulous. I'm pretty sure yeah. it was The Fabulous. And, uh, and they were fabulous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this At Swim was really cool. It's kind of like it, the name At Swim kind of... Kind of describes our music a little bit. It's just, yeah. You know. <laughs> now, okay, so, uh, you know, the thing is. Yeah. Okay, um, I know there was ice in the water. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I got to hand it to both of them to, to film <laughs> that and look so calm. Yeah, yeah. In that dirty water with the mud on it and all the, yeah. you know, uh, I don't know, <laughs> nature cooties. Nature cooties. <laughs> yeah. Well, and she it, did a full dunk under a face and everything. Uh, I'm yeah. like, oh, my God. And it looked, yeah, it looked like all ice floating there, and, and man, that yeah. must have been cold. So that was, uh, let's see if I can get this name right, uh, Julianne uh, Ed- 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 Edelstein, am I saying that right? Edelstein? Let's see. I guess. Here. And uh, Greg Cotes, um, they uh, uh, did a uh, documentary film called The Water Rats. Julie Edelstein. Ed- Ed- Julianne Edelstein. Edelstein. Okay. And what was the and, other name? Uh, Greg uh, Coetzee. Coetzee. That's it. Okay. Coetzee. Uh, so they did a, the film uh, uh, Water Rats. Water Rats. And this was basically on the soundtrack, and that it's being released on uh, Zuby Records. So, so we're um, going to have to check that out. Exactly. So if you uh, have access to Zuby, yeah. you might want to Zuby your ass over there and <laughs> you know uh, get the whole album. And I also provided a link to where you can find more information about the film itself. Even better. So uh, follow those links after the show, and you'll be able to see a little bit more from these. Um, but that was pretty cool. We really liked that one. It was a good start for the show. Like I kind of started it calm, oh, yeah. calm, serene. You know, it was nice. Oh, yeah. So uh, breaking news. <laughs> yep. You know, while we're in the serenity department here. Yeah. You know, uh, I've been following all the uh, space stuff going on, right? And uh, the dart that they sent up uh, and uh, uh, hit an asteroid. Yeah. Now, they were doing this, I don't know, just to see if it was even possible. Because, you know, like, dude, we've been watching, like, what, oh, Independence boy. Day and all yeah. these other ones, right? And Don't look up. Right, exactly. <laughs> so uh, we've just assumed that they had something they could shoot at it, but we didn't really know either way. Yeah, so uh, now we kind of know there's something yeah, they're so, going to uh, shoot anyway, at. So uh, anyway, and, and, and this is for all of our space junkies out there. Uh, they were hoping that it was going to go... Nine minutes off its trajectory. Yeah. Did it work? out it went 31 minutes off its trajectory. Oh, so man. being air out of the, wherever it was. Well, that, that definitely means that when it circles back around the second time, it's definitely hitting us now. It could, <laughs> but they assured us that it was like not in our range. Uh-huh. But uh, there is a good chance it may hit Uranus. Yeah, well, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, so yeah. let's see. Uh what are we having on the show today? 
Uh, what are we having? Let's see. Uh, so this basically, come on in, Brad. Oh, yeah, uh, wait a minute. You're not yeah. on camera. You can sit over there. <laughs> we have uh, uh, our Brad Straples yeah, in we, the audience. I didn't have. He'd I be on cam, but our uh, Ashorian yeah. uh, tech support lady yeah. <laughs> uh, which was not able to support me in a way that was helpful. So Yeah, yeah. The, the Sorry part, about that, Amanda. The camera didn't work. What? That was the rep that was uh, on the chat thing with me. Yeah, I told her we were going live in two hours. I need this problem fixed. She's like, <laughs> oh, did you try deleting the apps you put on there? Dude, like, I, if I knew what they were, we wouldn't be having this conversation. I don't know what yeah. you're even talking about. But I know. Okay. <laughs> but that's so, why the camera ain't working. So we are having sort of a uh, Athens VHS Fest pre-show. Ooh. Yep, and we're going to be showing a, uh, a good selection of some of the artists that are going to be performing at the event. Yeah, so, well, uh, didn't I heard rumor that that was coming up? Uh, well, that's isn't what's that next. coming up this weekend. Well, that's that's oh yeah, that's this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Saturday. When is that exactly? Uh, August August fifteenth. August. Oh, sorry, uh, October. That's what I meant. <laughs> October, October the, uh, the October fifteenth, 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 fifteenth. There, right. that's Saturday, right? Okay. See, what are you asking me this for? You got notes. Well, no, I mean, yeah, we have, but we, uh, yeah, we, Anyways, yeah, yeah, that part. yeah. Anyway. So October 15th, that's this weekend here at the Joker Joker uh, Gallery. We're going right. to be having this event all week, I mean, all day long, basically, from noon till 9 or 10 or, I don't know, well, whenever we decide to dark, quit. right? Well, past dark. Probably. Oh, even past dark. Yeah, we're going to yeah. have some really cool, like the visuals you see behind us for the show. That's uh, Josh Anderson. Josh he, Anderson. He's in the other studio right now doing that, all this glitching live for oh, us. Oh, yeah. Uh, for the last uh, couple of months now. Or how long has it been? Damn, it's been a couple, couple of episodes. So uh, he's going to be at the VHS Fest, and he's going to be doing something really cool live. And that's uh, the plan is to project that. And now, uh, you so, know, uh, uh, this is weird. Uh, one of our fans contacted us, right? Yeah. And, you know, the whole time he's been doing all this glitch out stuff, this guy's got some weird eye problem. And he <laughs> said, finally, he could see it in focus. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't know what his prescription was or what, but uh, he was like, yeah, Josh. Yeah. So let's see. What are we going to have? We're going to have... Um, uh, we've got, hold on, a Sweet Earth Flying. We're going to have a piece from them. Uh, we're going to have a piece from Chris Shue. John Lester. John Lester. So we've got a, and then at the beginning of the show, if you were paying attention to the, the little I Want My Joker, Joker TV at the beginning, that was uh, uh, Corporal Quigg. Right. So, yeah. But, uh, you know, we were also going to be talking about, like, VHS Fest for, like, half the show, right? Well, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I know. <laughs> so that's the artists that are going to be at the event. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured that. In fact, yeah. we have uh, uh, Eileen pull up the. There's a flyer one under the posters. It says VHS Fest. Um, VHS Fest. Poster. Yeah, click the eyeball. Yeah, thing. the eyeball. Yeah, All the other way. The right. yeah, yeah, there you go. The other eyeball. Yeah, that one. There you go. So oh, that I'm sorry, that's the wrong one. There's another one that's uh, further down. It says poster. VHS Fest, but that's the sign that we have in the in the backyard yeah, so right now. You'll know where to find the place. Brad, can you change the battery right there? All right, so um, it's there's one right in front of Dane. So this is the flyer uh, for the event. Uh, the, we we can see all the performers and vendors here. Um, we had we got a couple more added. Um, since we made this flyer, and there's a couple corrections that we're supposed to do to this flyer too. But right. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. There you go. Yeah. We, it's yeah we to come in now. In. I can see it now. There you go. Yeah. So, bad straples, Mr. Blank. That's me. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, Elia, I. 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 <laughs> Eliot. Eliot. I'm sorry. I fucking always say it wrong. <laughs> Eliot. Uh, of Persephone. Of Persephone. Toxic patriarch. Nerve clinic. Uh, Kevin Dunn's going to be here. He he um he's going to do a solo thing, but he's done some stuff with the uh, Insanitas Lux when they they were here. So oh yeah, yeah. So he's been here before too. Uh, Corporal Quig, uh, Sweet Earth Flying, and Sun Gong. Sun Gong. So we got a really cool lineup of artists that are going to be performing, and uh, so then the vendors: uh, John Lester, Despool, 
uh, Biblo, uh, Bilbo Books Publishing, Bilbo Books, uh, Marty Clark Company, Triple Bummer, Chris Shu, uh, Scott Brinhas, uh, uh, Cumulus Records, Buzzard Guts, and Astro Girl. Man. So a lot of cool There's artists. There's booty on there too. Oh yeah, well that was uh, we weren't supposed to put that on there. Oh, oh okay. We weren't supposed to talk about his booty. But, uh, uh, okay, well, we, is, is it one of those cool... See, everybody needs to come out now. Cause it, <laughs> it might be one of those, you know, Puerto Rican butts he, or something. He might have some, some booty videos. Oh, even better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll see. That's we, what I'm talking about. He was about. talking to me on the phone about it the other Hell day. Hell yeah. <laughs> so if you're into the booty, you yeah. want to come down come and, and talk definitely Scott. see... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Ask, <laughs> ask for Scott directly. Yeah. Uh but uh, okay, so let's watch the video. Oh wait, was there anything? Oh, actually, there was wait one a other hold thing. Hold on, he's got uh, breaking news. <laughs> breaking hold news. Hold on, I'm forgetting uh, the other things. Here you go. So senior moment. I was uh, I was at the uh, small batch toy festival this small weekend batch or toy last festival, weekend. Yeah. So I was up in LJ, Georgia. Um, there's a um, picture, Eileen. Pull up. Uh, it says LJ, or the one that says Mux, the very first one. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. So this is a picture of me um, at the space where we're set up. That's uh, the God Beast behind me, another toy yeah. maker. Um, and then far off in the distance, you can see Andrew. Uh, and, and so we were all like in this antique mall kind of store where people have different uh, booths set up and stuff. But the whole upstairs was like one big giant toy store of all different kinds of cool stuff, like from Super 7 and the reaction figures and like all these collectible figures too. Uh, uh, he had some um, uh, uh, like the, uh, the one-sixth size to uh, toys, the, the like old G.I. Joe size. Isn't that one-sixth? D yeah. Is, am I saying that right? <laughs> yeah. But it's the big G.I. Joe ones, you know. Yeah. So um, they had a bunch of Of course, everybody's used to saying it was a 10. <laughs> but so, it was really a 6. So we set up. It was a couple vendors we set up, and we were selling our homemade toys. Nice. Um, but uh, I want to send a special thanks to the uh, LJ Makerspace and everybody involved with it. It was really, really cool. I'm wearing, uh, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I'm wearing my Analog Revolution. Uh, this is a uh, label out of LJ, Georgia. Uh, really cool stuff. I had some. Uh, oh, here you go. I got it right here. I got some uh, some tapes. That one's a green, so the green screen's fucking with it. But uh, this was a cool purple one. And this was like uh, little compilations that they put together, right. uh, and featured a bunch of artists from the area and and surrounding. I think. But uh, we we're talking about doing some projects together and 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 stuff like that. They have a. Um, New LJ TV, which is a Roku channel that they're they're opening up um, this this fall, and um, we've got something that we're going to be talking about later in the show um, that they're doing something special. They're doing like a film festival kind of thing. Wow! So we'll talk about that more later. But um, yeah, that was really fun, and uh, I just wanted to thank everybody for doing that uh, for for having me there and like taking care of me while I was there. Hell yeah! <laughs> I had well, I had a place to take showers. <laughs> even <laughs> so better. No, I was sleeping well, in the van. Enjoying the lap of luxury. Yeah, what'd you do this week? In LJ. Yeah, uh, I actually uh, went to Atlanta for the Atlanta Pride Festival. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, so it was oh, yeah. really cool. And I actually got to ride uh, one of the floats for a You got to impact. be on another float? I got to be on another float. Oh, my float. God. Yeah. Wow. Dude, and at the big one. And I went, like, right past the Fox Theater. Yeah. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I did not get my photos and videos oh. in on time. I'm sorry about that. Oh, man. Uh, man but uh, uh, also, yesterday... Uh, or or Monday, I don't know, maybe it was Monday, who knows, one of them days. Yeah. Uh, I got a uh, notification that uh, they were having the dedication ceremony for uh, Athens' uh, very own uh, Pride Walk. Uh, oh, yeah, dance. the little rainbow bridges. Rainbow thing, yeah. Uh, when, uh, when was that? What day was that? Yeah, uh, that would be in my phone. Uh, it had to be, uh, well, you it went was probably to it, Tuesday. Right? No? You went to it, didn't you? Yeah, but I mean, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday, <laughs> they all kind of blend in. They all just Monday, blend in together, yeah. yeah, of course, yeah. Right, uh, so I, yeah, I think it was, uh, I'm pretty sure it was Tuesday. I think, yeah, I think you were saying it was Tuesday, yeah. 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 Okay, so, so Tuesday, uh, yeah, so they so, did the dedication, uh, yeah. what was that? 
Oh yeah, so they uh, they did a dedication for uh, the uh, rainbow sidewalks. Yeah, uh, Athens has been kind of getting all juiced up with the guitar pick uh, plaques oh, around yeah. town yeah. and murals going up all around town. Murals and everything. Yeah, and so uh, the whole idea of the the, the uh, rainbow uh, crosswalks is to uh, signify to everybody that. Athens is uh, a very diverse place and open to everybody. Oh, yeah. Nice. No matter what you are, no matter what you like, what you don't like. Yeah. We got a place for you. Now, you, you got to, like, drive through the KKK area to get to Athens. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's and we're like this little, little dot in the middle of all that, you know. Sorry, I'm 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 not I don't mean to I offend anybody. I haven't seen any of the KKK people. It, it's kind of right. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So, but uh but yeah, Athens is super uh I'm from my experience, you know, I've seen uh Athens be very super uh, uh you know, inclusive to everybody. Right. So, yeah. like uh, you know, that's been great, I think. So definitely, yeah. So, uh, and uh, I could go on. You know, every time you say stuff like that, yeah, it could lead into another story. But that <laughs> yeah. would go, and half of them are inappropriate. <laughs> but anyway, we're uh, about ready to. Uh, yeah, see I the think. Next, what are we going to be watching we'll next? By the way, well, oh, also we have a new Pratt Man later in the show. Oh, so dude, oh yeah, and see, you see, oh, I'm yeah, actually wearing my Pratt Man fan club shirt. Yeah. This That's is the the Punish Turd. The Punish Turd. And Punish Turd is in this episode. Punish so, Turd yeah. is in this episode. All right. So uh yeah, so let's let's go ahead and watch the uh let's get into this VHS Fest preview. Uh it's gonna be the first uh segment of the whole show. So we're gonna go through a couple different videos here. Uh and we'll be right back. Let's roll. The hit movies you want. The hit movies you want. It's great movies, but the best news is that by purchasing our special package plan, you can have this VCR absolutely free. Double one for details of this amazing offer. Movie tonight on video. Movie tonight on video. Uh, ooh, you're in the
Marty, shh, you'll scare the fish. But we're missing Max, Dave. my VHS home video recorder is taping it right now. Terrific. Watch. Terrific. But suppose it's over three hours. Relax. Panasonic VHS takes up to four hours of sports, movie specials on one cassette. Wow. This VHS is for me. Best catch of the day. Yeah. Services. Guess I'll look over at my VHS collection. Hmm. What have I got here? I really need to rearrange my VHS collection. Hmm. Celsius Punk, I've seen that about 5,000 times. Natural Born Killers? No. Um. What is this? Athens VHS Fest 2022. When did this get into my collection? Athens probably first ever VHS Fest, an event for collectors, vendors, filmmakers, and analog loving geeks, Saturday, October 15th, 2022, at Joker Joker Gallery. Can't fucking open this thing. Okay. Ah, ooh, sparkly. Hmm. I like that. Yes. Oh, let's go ahead and pop this sparkly tape in.
So that was the, uh, well, you saw a bunch of commercials there for the Athens VHS Fest. Yeah, yeah, Uh, you'll definitely want to come out. We're going to burn you out on those commercials this episode because we're uh, we're showing them all. (laughs) uh, We probably shouldn't even mention this because this is supposed to be top secret stuff. What? what? The menu of one of the vendors that's going to be there for the food thing. Yeah, we're going to have a food vendor. That's right. Didn't you say something about sausage dogs and... uh, uh, Well, let's see. Brad's got a mic. Brad, you you were reading. What what were they bringing? Uh, Meals in motion. Fried green tomatoes. Fried green tomatoes. I know. What about the red ones? Nice. Or... or, Can you eat the green ones? (laughs) Really? Oh, yeah. The green ones are good. See, I never ate the green ones because oh, really? I, uh, yeah, I thought it was like poison until they turned red. Ah, uh, no. Uh, in fact, uh, Uncle Chuck used to pickle green tomatoes. Pickled green yeah. tomatoes. Yo, know. so good. <laughs> he gave me. I know the recipe. I'll have to make you guys some. Yeah. Okay. Now, did yeah. they taste like pickles or what? Uh, well, they're sweet. Okay. And so they're they're they are pickly, but they're sweet. And I don't know. I'll just you'll see. I'll make some for you. Okay. It'll be awesome. So here, let's... So let's what else, what else uh, is on the menu here? Oh, yeah. wait, did, wait, wait. Did you say wings? Oh. They're going to have wings. Wings. Nice. <laughs> Bird. A sausage dog. Yeah, see, that's what I, I'm all about, the sausage dog. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah. No, Wait, does that gonna, count for the vegans if they eat Yeah, the is there going to be any vegan? Oh, the fried green tomatoes. Oh, there you go. Well, hopefully the sausages <laughs> won't taste like fish. Well, we'll see. There's going to be food. Uh, so we're going to yeah. have performers. We're going to have vendors. We're going to have food. Uh, we're going to have demonstrations. We're going to have all sorts of things like that. Okay, what did yeah. you say? Can, can you hear? Well, he said uh, he couldn't really hear us. Oh, so you got to... He could hear us, but not You got to speak up or get your mic close or yeah. something, but anyways. <laughs> See what happens when we let uh, T-Shot go on special location? Yeah. When he when he goes on vacation and... Uh, and I bet you he's out there probably kayaking in the ocean oh, And laughing at us. Yeah. He's laughing. He's like, ah, oh, oh, he's kayaking. <laughs> I know. He said he trained Eileen, but hey, you know, uh, yeah. she's doing the best she can. All right, so let's name off what we just watched, because uh, there was a couple pieces there. Uh, at the beginning, we had Sweet Earth Flying. Sweet the, Earth Flying. The piece was called Future Ghosts. Future Ghosts. And, uh, we, yeah, remember that? We had, a, we had a note there that the um, Future Ghosts, it's about the sensation of being haunted by one's future self. See, that would be kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Being haunted by. This is what you could look like if you (laughs) stay on the path you're on. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. (laughs) Oh, and so that's uh, that's Michael Pierce uh, from from Macon uh, area. But now Now I'm telling my 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 future self if if they ever decide to come haunt me, 
please give me the date and time of uh, uh, the lottery ticket where I can win like a, a zillion dollars or whatever. Yeah. You know. Well, maybe they've already done that. And now they're coming back for the second time to stop that from happening. Right. And yeah. so they're going well, like, to. So far, I've just been coming up with losers so far. So, I mean. <laughs> so, see, there's a reason. Yeah. There's a reason why you're losing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. The world would end. Well, it may be. You never know. <laughs> All right. So, um, Sweet Earth Flying um, has a cassette tape coming out October 14th. October um, the 14th. Wait a minute. That's tomorrow. Yep. That's tomorrow. Uh, well, it's today in the Philippines. I wonder if it's out now in the Philippines well, it's, or if it's going to be there so, tomorrow, the next day. So it's being released on a Polish label called Green Fairy. So where, okay, where is so Polish? What, that's where it's going to be really okay, first. Okay, so Poland's, I think, like plus either five or six. Yeah. If you're from Poland, let us know if, uh, uh, you know. Uh, uh, Did it already get released? in New York time. Maybe everybody already, already knows about it. How many time zones are you away? <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right. So then we had um, a piece from Chris Hsu, uh called Cardiogram. And, he always uh, has the coolest stuff. Yeah, he does, man. Really good art. Uh, I guess that's he's probably going to bring some cool knickknacks and, and uh, VHS stuff, but he's he's definitely going to have his art as well, and it's some really cool stuff. So buy some of that art. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Then we had uh, John Lester. We had two pieces from John Lester. We had one called "We Only Danced Once." We only danced once. And uh, well, and I, I don't know. Maybe it's uh, "We Only Danced Once" officialish, because officialish. I'm saying it right. It's just spelled official-ish. So maybe that's like part of the the name of the song. Oh, maybe it only it's officialish. Took like you got to put those quotations there. We only danced once officialish. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. John's in the in the chat. He he can let us know what the well, he definitely full title like the of that man. is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then uh, the second piece that we watched was Hartwell Ex- Exhibition. And, Hartwell uh, Exhibition. And he, he was saying in the chat that that was like uh, found footage from like commercials and stuff of, of I think, from the city government. Oh, okay. Uh, of yeah. Hartwell, <laughs> which if you if you're not in the Georgia area, you don't know that's a that's a town that's uh, a little bit northeast of from here. I think it is. And, yeah, and I know they got a big lake around there. Yeah, there's a, it's right and there. And on the other side of the lake is another state. I'm not sure which South one. Carolina. Like South Carolina. Yeah. So it's right at the border okay, of South yeah. Carolina and Georgia. Um, and it, yeah, the big lake. It looks like a nice place, but. Anyways, you know. <laughs> I wonder if there's like a spot you could stand like between the two states. Oh yeah. That would be kind of cool. Well, you got the rest stop, you know. That's you go pee on the on the on the other side. On the yeah. line. <laughs> yeah, pee exactly. on one side and shit on the other. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Um okay, and so uh let's see. Okay, yeah, that was all I had there. So that was the last one. Um, and then, like I said at the beginning of the show, the uh, the opening of the show, we, we had a little Corporal Quig in there. That was cool. Yeah, that one um, was really cool, I too. think this is going to be the first time they, they've come to this area to perform, uh, at least in, uh, here at the uh, Joker Joker. The Mill? At the Mill, let's see. Oh, okay. So they played at the Mill? They oh, played okay. at the Mill a while I missed back. that wow. one. I missed that one. So it'll be cool to see them. Um, and uh, what are some of the other artists we had there? Uh, of Persephone. Um, oh, of Persephone, in fact, is going to be on Joker Joker here in the studio live. Um, what was the date on that? I think it was the 20... Let's see. Yeah, here it's up go. there somewhere. It's uh, oh November 10th. November so, the 10th. So it's yeah. next month. But uh, So they'll be live in studio. All right, so what do we got coming up next? Yeah, right. Uh, let's see. Pratt oh, yeah, Man. dude. We got Pratt Man coming up. <laughs> That's what and I was I've trying to let you Pratt say. I've got the Man shirt, yes. Yep, you're wearing your Pratt Man yeah, shirt. Yeah. The Punished Turd. So the Punished Turd, yeah. We, uh, we're going to get like a little uh, update at the beginning of this episode. This is episode nine of, uh, of uh, no, Pratt Man. Season two or something like that. Well, this is this is part two, part two of, of episode, episode nine. Episode nine. Okay. So this is called Assault on Bly, Bly Fleet Part Two. Now, you know, uh, 
if you're a, a Pratt Man junkie like I am, <laughs> you can watch them on Two Necks. Oh yeah, and we're big fans of Two Necks. That's I mean, true. P Pops on there also, and yeah, yeah. a whole bunch of them. Right. Riley just got on there. Riley's on there. Riley, Riley Weber. Weber from yeah. uh, uh, Tick Studios doing yeah. uh, uh, the Rip the Falcon. Rip the Falcon. Yeah. yeah. So um, so and, Two Necks uh, TV on Roku, and you can also yeah. catch them on YouTube also. Oh yeah, that's you know, right. So that that's really cool. All right, well, let's check that out, uh, and then we'll be back in just a little bit. Let's roll. Yeah. I get tired it's ass hell, not asshole. Swear to me, with the bugle gang tied out. Oh, please, I don't know anything. <laughs> Cover, they're gonna open fire! Oh, Grenade! doing on the floor. They are not pink dildos. <laughs> That's what they said. Will you both shut up? What are you going to do? Shove them up your enemy's ass? Look, they are not pink dildos. They are criminal rubber stopping bullets. I'm going off to finish the rest. I'll come with you. I ain't planning no goddamn Ann Summers party. I'm going outside to stop them. You stay here and make sure Smith is okay. Where's Larry this morning? He's normally up making me a nice cup of tea. I we'll never see him much around anymore now. Now he goes around being prat man. Oh, Larry, you're back. Yep. What an evening I've had. Why oh, have you got a load of pink dildos on your chest? Oh, don't you start. I'm off to bed. Oh, Larry? What did I say? Smith! Oh, morning, sir. What the hell have you done to my police station? Uh, well, sir, we uh, had a bit of bother, sir. I can see that! Has that plot man been here? I can see lots of pink dildos! Uh, yes, sir, he was, sir. But to be fair, the people gang were trying to break out the prisoner, and Pratman and this other guy did help stop them. I suggest you tidy up this police station! Okay, sir. I'll get right on with it, sir. Morning, Smith! Commissioner Rosal! Who said that? It's all sound, not all soul! Hey, bloody hell, your iron gran has burnt my top! Oh, great, the bird bark looks like a turd. Let's subscribe to this. <coughs> <coughs> subscribe to this channel, or I'll find you. And I'll kill ya! Like and subscribe, or else...
Selections, 32 different categories. See it. What a difference. We can run for three evenings. More videos. More selection. More fun. More selection. More fun. More selection, more fun. Self. All right then. We're we're investigators. It's it's what we're s supposed to do. What the. F for darkness because it finds us on its own and it led me down a road of tears and manic delusions that is the world I live in
All right. All right, we're Man, back. that was cool. Yeah, that was really Not cool. Not too out of Italy. Uh, so oh, ca- you know, uh, Camouflage was camouflage, the name of that Camouflage, you know, and that one just came out uh, September 13th. Yeah, and and the uh, the album, album is on the way. On the way. Charisma. Charisma. So that look out for that. Um, I think we've got all the links to, to find when that comes out. You can follow them on social media to, to figure out when that's going to be. Um, also back there, we had... Uh, we forgot to mention uh, Orbix. We played an Orbix piece back there. Yes. Um, and, and they got something coming out, too. That was called Yesterday's News. Yesterday's and News. And that's uh, basically like a brand new uh, uh, video that just came out. Um, let's see. About a month ago, I think it was. And uh, they have a new music video coming out this Friday. So... Got to follow the links. That's tomorrow, by the way. Yeah, that's tomorrow. Exactly. So we got a couple things coming out tomorrow. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, By the way, uh, we got a special delivery. 
Oh, yeah? By Mr. and Miss Delivery oh, yeah. Person. Oh, yeah. Okay? Check this out. See, this is going to be you at the turn VHS it so you can see it good. Fest. Hey, uh, Eileen, zoom in on that. Yes. What Rick, Rick's holding up. Zoom in on that. There you go. So, Anomaly. Anomaly. So, this yes. is a release... Um, that is featuring uh, Josh Anderson, who's doing the the live glitching behind us right now. Um, this is See, a, in, the, in the back, really cool. Filmed by him uh, and who? What's the other person name on there? Morgan. Morgan, that's right, and Morgan, and then uh, the music. That wouldn't um, be Captain Morgan, would it? <laughs> Captain Morgan, <laughs> and then the music Morgan. on the release is by uh, Josh Anderson as well. Mick something, Mick Ash. Oh yeah, okay, and then Mick you. Ash uh, or and oh so, yeah. Okay. So okay. So Brad so, put this out. Brad put this out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, oh, dude. Oh, oh yeah. Open out. it up. And show everybody. Okay. So inside. Here I'll hold it up. If you can up. see this. Here I'll hold it up. Let's see. While you. Well, uh, while you yeah. But you're you now you're piece. out of the camera with zoom part. Zoom in. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Well, now I'm behind All you. Right, yeah. Yeah. There you are. There okay. You yeah. So. uh so, so that, that is cool. And, uh, and how can, exactly? There you go. You can see kind of the uh, painting effect on the back there. Look yeah. at that. So, so, uh, so, how did you do that? Uh, that's a little technique called hydro dipping. It's a technique called hydro dipping. Yeah. And he's going to be demonstrating how to do that at the VHS Fest. <laughs> uh, when, when is that VHS Fest, by the way? Okay. What day of the week Wait a is minute. that? Isn't that this Friday, this Saturday? That is oh. It's this Saturday. Man, I better put it on my calendar then. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> wait a minute. All right. So, uh, I, I, you know, I always have the weird questions. Yeah. I get the whole hydro dipping thing, but uh, how can you can still see through the glass? Like, how did that happen? Oh, yeah, uh, the happen? glass didn't get painted. How did yeah. you do that? Uh, let's use masking tape. Uh, masking tape. Wow. Mas okay. They masked it off. And it doesn't soak yeah. through the. Uh, the paint doesn't soak through the um, uh, the masking tape at all. Sometimes it will. Sometimes it will. Kind of iffy at times. Mm. And then what do you do in that case if it does? Uh, try to clean it up as much as so he tries to clean it up. Mm. Okay, I mean you like scrubbing with scrub brushes, or you got uh, paint thinner, or what? Kind of just try to scrape it off with the old. Oh, he's using his finger now. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. So this is real hands-on work. Hands-on. <laughs> Each one is personally handcrafted. So we're going to have like a hydro dipping station set up um, with some spray paint and different things, right? Is that, isn't that what you use? Spray, regular spray paint? And he yeah. said, yeah. He's going to have some tapes already. Oh, Masked nice. up. All right. Yeah, nice. Okay, okay. And is there going to be a contest to rip the tape off? After it's already <laughs> been dipped. Uh, no, and I wonder if anybody's going to be betting on whether any paint gets on the glass. Oh, yeah. You know, hell, that could be a little money maker on the side, I guess. Yeah, you know? yeah. some betting on the Only side. you gambling addicts, you know, might want to come down and check out uh, Saturday's thing. I mean, only the underbelly of, of, of Athens is showing up for Athens yeah. VHS Fest. <laughs> So, no, not yeah. really. Oh, yeah, and uh, a shout-out to Patrick Berry for writing that article. Yeah. So that was with Flagpole. With the um, Flagpole. So did they uh, interview you for that and talk to you about that? Or? They just asked how much it was. They yeah. just asked how much it was. And, uh, and then he wrote... <laughs> the article based on his own interpretation. I wonder if people can still hear you a little bit in the background. And and well, Rick's you know, he echo. said he's not sure. You know, I, I'm <laughs> doing the best I can. I, you know, we we don't have the sign language person here, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. If you know somebody that wants to volunteer for the show that knows sign language, <laughs> come on down. Yeah, get in contact with so us. So you're being Brad Brad's microphone. I'm being Brad's <laughs> microphone. Yes. Uh, oh, and he appreciates it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I do too. And and and, uh, and 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 awesome job, Eileen. You're doing a great job back there. Oh, okay. So we're gonna get to see this live. Okay, so we're gonna get to see this then, live. Wait a minute. Now you're echoing me. 
I'm not echoing you. I'm just <laughs> emphasizing what you already said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. See, so that's I can't what wait. it looks like when it's open. Yeah. And that's what it looks like when it's like flying. So it's released by VHS or Die. It's which, released uh, by VHS or Die. Which is an Instagram page. and uh, Which is an Instagram page. I think they can hear me. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> you don't have to mimic me. <laughs> All right, so we got something else in the mail. What else do we have in the mail? Uh, let's see if you can zoom in on this one. Um, Mr. It's, Mailman it's, came It's kind of well. small. It's kind of yeah. small. So, here, let me... There you go. I can turn it away from the light a little bit. There you go. Turn away uh, from hold, the light. hold me right there. Let me show this, some of the other ones. So, uh, there's a couple different oh, pieces. Yeah. Uh yeah, I got that right side. But aren't up. we gonna be playing a video that has so yeah all the yeah we're gonna well, I this just, is just evidence that we this is evidence got that we got it in person <laughs> right but you'll be able to see it when you're on the video yeah and yeah we're gonna be playing yeah it, you, you see know, these totally. really cool and and if you remember back a couple uh, episodes ago uh, we featured some Vox Garbles stuff uh, in fact Vox Garbles turned in one of the uh, promo challenges yes the Clownski. Clownski. Remember the, the, the Clownski? Yeah, that, that was, was one of my classic. favorites. Dude, that was so funny, too. <laughs> it was just absurd. Yes. And then the, the logo that came in at the end with the Joker Joker TV logo yes. like, was so cool. Yeah, it was all like, you know, vaporwave looking. So. Yes, definitely. <laughs> but uh, so we have some new pieces, uh, or I don't know if the, I don't think these are new pieces, but uh, we have some more pieces from Vox Garble. Uh, the first one is, is, uh, N O E K X, I think is what no no X beats. So this is kind of no like X a beats. I think that's how you say it. Uh, this is kind of like a uh, uh, another thing that he does. He does a bunch of different stuff, filmmaking. Uh, this the, like the the sticker art that he does is more his 3D sculpting in Blender, and he creates like these images are 3D renderings in in Blender. Yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, here, let me let me throw you these. Let's see, see Without you, you, uh, you know, cutting your fingers in the blender. Yeah. <laughs> that could be a problem. Yeah. They look very vaporwave from afar. Pasthetics. Greatly pathetics. <laughs> <laughs> so seriously. Uh, really so, cool. So, anyways, yeah. those uh, those were created on a, a program called Blender, and it's not in a blender. You don't oh, like okay, yeah, dude, yeah, blender. I was thinking, uh, like, oh, my God. <laughs> That's dedication. That's why I was laughing over here. I couldn't have, and then your, your echo, too, like, that was hilarious. But <laughs> So, anyways, let's watch those. Um, right after the video that we're going to watch from uh, Vox Garbles is a commercial for the stickers. So you'll, you'll so see. So you'll actually be able to see them without, yeah. uh, you know, like, us holding like them up. you need the glasses <laughs> and stuff. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we've got some uh, Josh Giles coming on after that. Oh, it's Giles. Giles. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because remember, I got my friend Jimmy Giles. Oh. Who, uh, you know, anytime you hear me say anything about the Jimmy trip. Yeah. You know, uh, his last name is Giles too. I wonder is, if they're related. Uh, you know, we'll go to a random place, right? But you go uh, a different way on the way back. Oh yeah, that's the Jimmy trip. Right, and you don't know it. Like one time, it takes usually. I don't know. What an hour and a half to go to Macon. Wait, Jimmy trip is that, is that a sex thing? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, okay, absolutely right. not. But uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, you know, uh, the first time I went with him to uh, to Macon, yeah, it took twelve hours to get there. <laughs> That's only like an hour and a half away, or two well, hours. Yeah, I think, maybe. I guess. But and it was funny because uh, one time <laughs> I drove back, yeah, from Macon. In my car, you know. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, it's going to be like midnight by the time we get home. <laughs> Next thing you know, an hour and a half later, the sun hadn't even gone down. No, I know. It's it's like an hour and a half, two hours. Yeah. yeah. So going the long way there was was 12 hours? Yeah. And it oh, took 12 God. hours, yeah. God. With uh, right. In the middle of July, with no AC <laughs> in his car. Oh, that's bad. The Dragon Mobile, Yeah. <laughs> The Jimmy trip to remember, yes. Yeah. But All man, right. that's how I know it's Giles. All right, so let's watch Vox Garbles and then Josh Giles. 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 Yes. After that. All right. <laughs> Hit the button, Eileen. <laughs> Paper, 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 
hit movies you want. The hit movies you want. It's great movies, but the best news is that by purchasing our special package plan, you can have this VCR absolutely free. Double one for details of this amazing offer. The phrase corporate personhood goes right to the top of the list of best oxymorons, beating both military intelligence and jumbo shrimp. After Citizens United was decided in 2010, Occupy Wall Street signs appeared stating, I'll believe a corporation is a person when Texas executes one. At the founding, corporations were created for a limited purpose, like building a road. Now, while corporations could limit the purpose of the corporation in its articles of incorporation, few do. Rather, the norm presently is for entrepreneurs to establish corporations for any lawful purpose. This allows modern firms to do multiple lines of business as well as assert the ability to act in non-business fora. So although some picture artificial life to come from a test tube, in reality, artificial life came from legal definition. While some point out that corporations can be immortal, few point out 
that corporate status excuses a variety of bad behaviors. And with the right combination of greed and bad management, they can most certainly fail. Disputes over legal status of corporations began more than a century before the Citizens United decision. Both British common law and the U.S. Constitution make a distinction between natural persons, human beings, and artificial or legal persons, such as groups or organizations. While natural persons are endowed with all the rights and protections under the Constitution, artificial persons must be granted certain legal privileges and protections. However, the 14th Amendment's Equal Protection Clause introduced ambiguity into this otherwise straightforward distinction, stating that no state shall deny any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws. The lack of specificity as to how, which type of persons, natural or legal, the 14th Amendment applies, allowed the lawyers for Southern Pacific Railroad in Santa Clara County versus Southern Pacific Railroad Company to argue that corporations, in addition to natural persons, should be protected from discriminatory laws and policies by the state and federal governments. Although the court ruled narrowly in the case and did arguably not intend to grant corporations legal personhood, the head note for the decision, written by the court reporter, stated boldly that the court had determined the defendant corporations are persons. This decision served as the legal foundation for corporate personhood and made it possible for corporations to win the right to free speech in the form of unlimited spending on campaign advertising in Citizens United versus the FEC. As for other personhood questions, such as should corporations be allowed to marry people? Can a corporation be drafted? We all know the one about can you get a corporation to pay its taxes? The corporation moves its headquarters to Ireland. How long will the courts rule in favor of corporate personhood based on a head note written by a court reporter? Do you really want corporations to be able to vote? you want corporations to marry. Maybe you would rather be a corporation than a person. Maybe your corporation needs an abortion. I need my Joker Joker TV. I need my Joker Joker TV. I need my Joker Joker gallery. Yes, I'll be performing live at the Joker Joker Gallery on the 27th of October in Athens, Georgia. If you're in the area, come along. If not, tune in here to Joker Joker TV. Joker Joker TV hoodie. Very nice. And uh, I'll be on tour in the States. Look me up. I'm Tim Holhouse. Got all my dates up. Look out for me. I'll be on the road. Now, I'll be on tour with my friend Brighter, and he'll be also performing at the Joker Joker Gallery. So I'll see you on the 27th of October at the Joker Joker Gallery in Athens, Georgia. It will be most excellent. Can afford. <laughs> you know? All right. Back. So you saw there, uh, Tim Holhouse was Dude, wearing, yeah. wearing and, uh, our, yeah, our hoodie. Now, uh, he won that. <laughs>
Yeah. When we had the drawing, but I forget what number it was. Yeah, man. I don't it even was remember. it 100? Was it 200? It might have been like 300 or something like that. Yeah, well, was, I thought uh, MJ was 300. Oh, man. Yeah, that's right. So maybe it was four. I don't know. But it was like, it was uh, where are we that, right yeah, now? Yeah. I haven't looked lately. We're, we, we were like seven something. Uh, we're, we're in the 700, 700 Club right now. Oh, so yeah, uh, yeah, we're in the 700 Club. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Which is 727. Cool. 727. Yeah, wow. I haven't Just looked like in a while. Just like the airplane, yeah. 666. Yeah, yeah. Remember when it was 666? Six, six, six. Six, I got a picture six, of that. Yeah, that was another one. <laughs> so I have no idea if anybody can hear Brad, but I'll be repeating what he says anyway, just well, in case. I Unless they uh, tell me. I think we got it resolved. Yeah. The, the, he I says can, they think that he has it resolved. Yeah, so we can't see him still. We can't see. He, he came. He, he's invisible. Can't hear him. He's a uh, uh, lifeless, I mean a uh, bodiless life. Yeah. <laughs> Not right, <lifeless>. yeah. <laughs> He's just yeah. Float, like ghosts. floating in that ether in the background right now. Yeah. But Joker, big, big Joker TV ether. style. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, wait, so uh -oh. he can't hear him. See, that, it's a good thing I was repeating everything uh, well, he maybe said. Maybe it's coming in and out. Wait, yeah. Right. I think we need. Kind of like a ghost. I think we need some new cables or something. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Which reminds me, yeah. and I know this is uh, unscheduled for me to mention this. Oh, yeah. But uh, uh, I wanted to thank our Patreon. Oh, yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, I can't remember the name, but I just remember oh. they were alone in the woods. Yep, that's their name, alone in so the woods. So if you are alone <laughs> in the woods. Yep, thank you very much. Thank you very much. For supporting and, uh, 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 Like he said, uh, we're looking for some new cables. So if uh, anybody else wants to uh, join our Patreon page, yeah. we would appreciate that. And uh, also, we, we, got uh, we a have couple, our own we have Joker a couple Joker merch. Did you see? Oh, yeah. I was going to say we have a couple uh, Tim different. Tim House in England was yeah. wearing their sweatshirt. Oh, yeah, the that's shitty. right. Yeah, the shitty. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you call it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we have a couple different layers of that Patreon pay, uh, over there. So, like, you can start off at, like, a $5 level, or you can go all the way up to, like, a $100 level. Yeah, a yeah, $100 level would man, be a good one to start at. That would let us get up some cables right out. away. <laughs> so, anyways, um, also, I think, you know, we, we could probably put out there that we're looking for local businesses or, or cool businesses that might have online shops that want to advertise on the show. Right. You know, we're, we're going to pick and choose. You know, we're going to curate our advertising, but uh, uh, only the coolest stuff. Only the coolest <laughs> stuff, yeah. That'll be our new tagline, only the coolest stuff. Right. <laughs> All right, so we have a bunch of shows. Oh, well, that last video we saw there was uh, Fog Machine. Fog Machine, and yeah, and they're all the way from Joshua Tree, California. Yes, they are. And, in fact, in Joshua Tree, they are putting together uh, a series of special events and uh, we we've talked about it uh, last month because the first. Well, event, yeah, didn't they have one last month? That was the first event in the series, right? Uh, and so now the second event of the series. Isn't that coming up uh, like tomorrow? Let's or see. Saturday? There it is. Uh, if we zoom in, the one in the middle, the part yeah. in the middle. So oh, that uh, is ten tomorrow. fifteen. Yeah. That's so the, if you are on the West Coast and well, cannot Saturday. make it to VHS Fest, yeah, you need to uh, hit up Joshua Tree. Yeah. And it's worth the drive, even if you live all the way in Sacramento, California. <laughs> we know how long a drive it is, but it'd be uh, a great Jimmy trip. Yep, Jimmy trip. Yep. <laughs> so, let's we'll see. Can we pronounce some of those oh, yeah, names uh, on yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zoom it in uh, so I can read it. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, you so fucked. Anastasia. I got that one. <laughs> Anastasia. Okay. Uh, uh, Mika uh, Pontecorvo. Oh, there you go. That's good. Derek... Money Penny. Money Penny, yeah. Anastasia. Castellum. Yeah. And the one and only Fog, Fog Machine. Machine. How would you pronounce that first one? Uh, you so fucked. <laughs> you so fucked. Yeah. Oh yeah. That could, yeah, that could be you so fucked. Yeah. yeah you so that's fucked. That's what it sounded like you said, and yeah. I was like, wait a minute, what? Yeah, but it says fucked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fucked. Yeah, you so fucked. Yeah. <laughs> So, and if you look, there's, yeah, there's another cool uh, uh, event coming on 11-19. Uh, when we get closer to that date, we'll, we'll talk about that again. Yeah, you noticed. But, yeah. They, you know, uh, uh, they were lucky because they actually have 
their their final headline act yeah. is actually Fog Machine. Oh yeah, and he was able to be at all three events. Oh yeah, well he's putting the event well, together. Well, even better. <laughs> he better be there. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're uh, vacationing in the Joshua Tree area, or you just need you know, to get away. Yeah. You know. I, perhaps from the wife and kids, or perhaps yeah. from the husband, whatever. Yeah, or pa- perhaps from the kids. <laughs> yeah, or, yeah, or from, from your parents. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah, there yeah, you go. this is the place to go. <laughs> send all, it's like out in the desert. Send all the kids to, uh, yeah. <laughs> to Joshua Tree. Oh, uh, but uh, wrap up at night because it's freezing cold at night in Joshua yeah, Tree. Yeah. Like, it's, man, around, around this period of time and you know, getting into the fall, it's freezing cold <laughs> at night. And you want to listen to the Joshua Tree album at least once by YouTube, <laughs> you know. I just yeah. think for the cool factor, you know. All right, so the next poster um, that we have is Tim Holhouse. Yeah, and, Tim uh, Holhouse. He we, was just, uh, we just had his little video thing yeah, on there. Yeah, exactly. Dude, so, you know, he does this, like, throat singing thing. Oh, yeah. And uh, he paint. what was that thing, a Bo Bazilla thing he was playing? Yeah. I don't it know. was weird. That's the cool thing about this show, man. We've yeah. had some, like, people, they play instruments that we've never even seen before. Oh, yeah, yeah. And if you want to learn about this stuff, you could even come to VHS Fest. Yeah. So, uh... This is going to be, uh, they, uh, Tim Holhouse just got into the United States. He's um, welcome. I think um, maybe yesterday it was. Uh, this, the, the dates listed on this aren't all the dates because I think some more got added there before uh, October 20th. So, um, but he is going to be here at Joker Joker Gallery on uh, the 28th, it was? 27th. 27th. I it's too small. I can't see it. 27th. There it is. Um, so he's he's going to be doing a live in studio performance on the show. That's going to be fun. Oh yeah, Li- oh dude, yeah. Because yeah, the last time he played, it was amazing. Yeah, yeah. But that I, was a hot minute ago, though, dude. That was like uh, before we even started Joker Joker. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and yeah. Uh, yeah, even he, after he, he was here too, right? Yeah, he well, he was he performed here uh, when it was just Joker Joker Gallery. When it was just Joker know, Joker Gallery, yeah. Before the TV part started, uh, you know, the TV start part started because of the pandemic. So right. we were doing this sort of thing already. Because we figured just, we'd be the last ones on, it wasn't, and somebody had to broadcast <laughs> yeah. and share this art yeah. around the world. Exactly, exactly. So you know, <laughs> that's this is our pandemic project, right? And and you know, uh, and fortunately, we'd be the uh, last place on Earth Putin would ever <laughs> shoot a nuclear missile. Yeah. So uh, you know, we could possibly be the last ones on Earth. Well, it was funny. We were talking the other day about like when we first started this, like. We were talking about the whys of why we started this and what it, what it was all about. Because I've been going through that. Uh, there's this boot camp that I'm taking for uh, the UGA Innovation District. I can see you're district. already getting in better shape. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like you lost weight. It's a mental boot camp, but uh, and business boot camp. But um, but we so we've been talking about that. And uh, and you one of the things you were saying, I, you know, do you remember what I'm talking about? Well, yeah, I will if you uh, clue me in with some more. I know we were talking last night about your boot camp thing and some of your cool classes and stuff. But, like, the reason why we we kind of started this Joker Joker TV thing. Is to basically bring to the audience all of our underground artists that yeah. were basically creating some really cool stuff. Oh, yeah. Exactly. From their own hermetically sealed remote bunkers. Okay, and Just so like us, right? and so you were talking about how because we were in this hermetically sealed bunker, it felt like we were the last ones on Earth. Right? Remember yes. you were talking. I about did that? say that that it did, <laughs> and it still does feel like uh, you know when we're in here yeah, yeah. that we are the last ones on Earth. We get visitors every once in a while. Every once in a while, and that's why I'm so surprised. You know, yeah. all of a sudden you get a parcel, <laughs> a delivery person comes in, you're like, oh, who is that? Yep, yep. But uh, I mean, you know, so like this year we've been we've been expanding and having more artists coming in, and you know, because because the pandemic's not as bad, and we don't have to worry about it as as much, you know. But we we take precautions, we take our vaccines, we do things like that, you know. So we make it work, and uh, you know, uh, now like 
that feeling of of you know it just being us and it's the end of the world is is you know we're starting to ha have that community more now we're right. opening it up you know and and it's expanding to just being being more than just the show on YouTube you know right because you know uh, I think that everybody <clears throat> has been just all balled up inside just wanting to just <laughs> say something just yeah. share something just create something right yeah. and uh, if uh, you're one of those people and uh, you're still kind of iffy because you're watching too much of one of those news channels right <laughs> when you should be watching us <laughs> maybe just maybe you could create something a video you can make a musical instrument out of anything yeah, I mean, right? you know, we've proven and, that. Uh, and <laughs> as long as it's uh, be, you're not using any copyrighted material. Oh, yeah. yeah right? I can't do that. Uh, and uh, and you're not uh, uh, swinging to one of those uh, uh, um, exclusive groups, you know, that, that likes to exclude everybody else oh, but yeah, them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Um, Got to be inclusive. Inclusive. Yeah. That's what we're all about that. Yeah, yeah. Then uh, you need to send your video... To uh, what is that? Uh, TV Joker Joker at gmail dot com. TV Joker Joker at gmail dot com. And uh, if you want a little bit more information on what it takes to submit, we have a page on our website, uh, Joker Joker TV dot com uh, backslash submit. And if you want to uh, uh, be a, one of the sponsors of the show, yeah, and or join our one of our patrons, or just. Uh, uh, Get in touch and share something with us. Uh, we could use all the help we can get. Yep, definitely. And if you're locally um, and you want to volunteer and you want to be a part of the crew, come on in. We still got some shows to talk I know, to, so let's I, get I, back that's what to I that. Was <laughs> <laughs> we were kind of like that's that's kind of like the end of show stuff there. Right. But you know, well, let's talk about a couple more of these posters we have. So the next one is the Fall Film Festival. Fall Film New, Festival. New L J TV. Yep, right that one right there. Yes, there we go. So this was what I mentioned at the beginning of the show. Um, I was hanging out at this uh, event called the uh, Small Batch Toy Festival. The Small Batch Toy Festival. And it happened in Ella J, Georgia, which is a Ella little... Ella J, Georgia. A little... Well, I think they can hear me. You don't have to repeat. Oh everything. no, I was just. <laughs> I, I'm just making sure I'm hearing. Yeah, because, yeah. You know, we're not wearing the headset. Yeah, now. so I'm you. Here. Yeah, you. You're can like hear me. way on the other side of the studio, by the way. Yeah. I mean, you know how far it is. So they are um, the 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 maker space. You know, that's kind of where all this is centered around. You know, uh, and and they do a bunch of different things at the maker space. They have their own live stream studio. They have a recording studio that you can come in and and record at or live stream at and use their equipment and it's really amazing uh it's a really amazing place but it's up there in the mountains in the middle of uh mountains georgia <laughs> okay so it's on the georgia side right yeah it's on the georgia so side. basically like how far south carolina and north carolina from well there? it's basically i think they, they said that lj is where the appalachian trail starts Okay, so if you're hiking off the trail and you got a creative well, thing, you yeah. might want to uh, go check them out. Yeah. And uh, and that's in LLJ. And what's that place called again? LLJ, Georgia. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, the Makerspace. LLJ Makerspace. The Makerspace. Yeah. Oh, okay, so yeah, so, just Google that. So they're also starting, uh, well, we, we, we've got all the links in our, in our description, so Even they can better. follow those. But they're starting a uh, TV station at, in LLJ. Uh, nice. Out of the makerspace, and uh, they're doing this film festival. So uh, let's zoom in back in a little bit. I want to see what was the deadline. Uh, there you go. Submission deadline December twentieth. So if you would like to submit to this, there's a lot more information on their website, um, and uh, so just follow the links that we provided in in the description of this video. Uh, I think it might be on there. Yeah, LJ, new lj dot tv backslash festival so and you know there it's it's sort of a there's some special thing to it so you should read what that says there 
and uh, and and if that's what you do, then submit your film. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try I to. Film. Get the, I mean, like checked, we're right? sort of filming. But this our... would be a great way to do your eye test, wouldn't it? Like, uh, yeah. you know, like they zoom it up, and they're like, "Okay, tell me when you can start reading shit," and be like, "Okay, <laughs> stop there, right?" Yeah. And then they they take it back, and we're like, "No, nope, I can't see shit now." Yeah, uh, so, yeah, yeah, I can see it. There. I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that looks that's that's really and it's a bunch of cool people up there. So like I think we're we're gonna do. I mean like we're we're almost filming our submission right now. Here we go. Oh, yeah. we're, we're gonna submit this to the. We're gonna to them. submit that to them. Yeah. <laughs> but no, you you have to read the rules. There's there's a couple little rules that you have to follow, and so it's gonna be a lot of fun. But check that out. Yeah. All right, let's get to the next poster. Um, we've got Tim Kaiser, who we we played uh, Tim something Kaiser. from him uh, a couple weeks ago. He's one of those guys that makes his own instruments out of weird stuff. Remember that he had like some UFO right. technology looking yeah. uh, <laughs> devices that he built. Now so. uh, we watched one that the the day that we had the UFO experts on. Oh yeah, yeah I think it was yeah, yeah it was the dude, same that, episode. Oh my god, yeah, that was so much fun. <clears throat> oh yeah, <clears throat> they still have not. I hate to say this, folks. What? This is kind of embarrassing. We still haven't sent the dummies up to the moon yet. <laughs> no, we haven't. Come on, guys. Uh, let's get it up to the moon. Okay, so let's see. Zoom in there a little bit. 10, uh, what is today? Yeah, it's the 13th. 10, 15. Yeah, oh, no, Today's wait, the uh, 13th. So they're in Indianapolis Street, uh, State Street Pub tonight. Uh, and then on Saturday, they're in Minneapolis, Minneapolis uh, uh, Minnesota, yeah. at the Eagles Club. So if you're in those areas, uh, go on out and see Tim Kaiser. It's going to be an interesting thing. Uh, you, can, you can check a couple episodes ago and see what we played from, kind of get an idea of what the show is going to be about. But it's definitely going to be worth the watch because I, I would just want to show up to see what the instrument he's using looks like. You know, right. it's, it's crazy stuff. So really cool. And uh, right. if you're in the area, you want to get there early. Because, dude, it's yeah. right. It's nice weather today. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right? You know, uh, so you, his shows always sell out. Yeah. So you want to get there early. So the next one, uh, I think we kind of showed this one already, but we'll mention it one more time. This weekend is Athens VHS Fest. Woo! Woo! So VHS the, Fest. That's going to be here at the Joker Joker Gallery. Right here live in Joker, Athens, Joker Georgia. Gallery. So if you're anywhere near Athens, Georgia, and you got some cool VHS you want to swap, trade, or you want to buy some cool VHS, right. we're going to have a lot of cool stuff, even some uh, um, exclusive releases. Yeah, now, I, I had heard a rumor. Yeah. You know that one video that we were watching where they're all swimming underwater? Yep. What I had heard that was that there was like one video in there, yeah, where they're all swimming without the suits on. Oh, really? Okay. Now I don't know if it's going to be sold out or or what, but that's <laughs> the rumor I heard. Ah. So you might want to dig through everybody's collection, and you might be able to find that one. <laughs> the, the naked noodle workout. Naked yeah. noodle workout. <laughs> that's a great idea. <laughs> Oh, so there you can see uh, on the flyer there um, who all we've got. We mentioned them earlier. And, uh, um, you know, okay. So, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Let me just say this, all right, because, uh, uh, you know, I have heard that there were a couple of people mm -hmm. that, that were, uh, you know, bringing their, uh, you know, their stag collection of the good porn, right? <laughs> I don't okay, know. Okay, so... It's so, not really about that, though. No, you know? I know it's not. Okay. But what I, I know it's not about that. <laughs> I want but to make I know that very clear. That, but what I'm saying, very though, clear that this is not a it's porn. It's not swap. a porn to stop. No, it, it, not a porn not, swap. No. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But what I'm saying is, when you see somebody that's actually willing to give that up, do you yeah. know how important that is to a guy? Yeah, we all had that one movie, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a divorce. You're it's right. Kind of like a You're divorce. Huh? Guy. Yeah, All exactly. Right. All right. So let's go to the next flyer. <laughs> oh God. Well, I mean, you know how much they're gonna ask. I mean, and you you have to have a heart, man. You know how hard it was to get those up. Yeah. All right. What's next? We got well, next flyer. <laughs> uh. 
Oh yeah, this is the Dar Sombra flyer. Um, Dar Sombra, so, yeah. So that's Rat Babies, good. that's my band, yeah, and um, hold on here. and Sacred Bull, who is uh, Josh, who's doing the background for the uh, our our episodes here. That's his band. Uh, so we're going to be doing a show with Dar Sombra, Dar Sombra. the world famous. That's and on, Sacred Bull. Well, I said so, and Sacred Bull. That's Josh's band. Not that there was one more. No, it's Rat Baby, Sacred Bull, and Dar Sombra. I thought Dar Sombra was the whole name of the tour. No, that's the name of the band. Okay, so it's Dar Sombra. Yeah. Then Sacred Bull, and then Rat Babies. Probably not in that order exactly. Maybe not in that but, order. But those three, yes. You could make votes <laughs> if you wanted to, probably. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so let's move on. Next flyer. <laughs> I forget what was next. Oh yeah, the fashion bash. So the monster fashion mash, bash, yeah. monster mash fashion bash, and this is uh, presented by Brasher Media. Brasher Media and BYV Trub and BYV underscore Trub. Trub. Remember underscore, underscore Trub. Trub. Yeah, don't forget that. Yeah. Part. So they are they are teaming up and collaborating on this uh, DJ dance party, live music, and fashion show. Nice. So uh, if you if you seen uh the byv uh, underscore trub stuff that we've played you always see him wearing these these uh, uh um what do you call those uh vests like jacket vests and stuff yeah and and he makes he those. was out here yes and so, he did uh you know uh, had up for sale and everything and yep. he sold a whole bunch of oh yeah them, he they did. almost sold out so i think we'll, we'll have to see what kind of fashion bash this is going to be right but with him being the presenter of this i mean that's 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 going to be i'm it's, i'm interested i want to see well, what, and, what's going to happen uh, okay so what's going to be interesting to me that's going to be at paloma is park i want to see what the 2023 fashion is Oh, yeah. You know, we, we only got a couple of months. We're hitting in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Right now, everybody's buying clearance of last year's. <laughs> What's the new stuff coming out? Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. Yeah, yeah, let's uh, have our future <laughs> self come back and tell us. What know? happened to your mic? Is that working? <laughs> no, it's not it's working. It's not working yet. Okay. Oh, He's well. got Rick. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, Franny's pharmacy. Fran oh yeah, okay. So yeah, yeah dude, I That's um, one of the tell, other. Uh, my, um, I actually had a fan. Yeah. That uh, asked me to uh, take her there. Oh, was this one of your Tinder dates? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, but it was you know it was just a fan. Yeah. And uh, anyway, I I did take her, and uh, she uh, was able to get hooked up, and I actually got some. Uh, uh, they're little chocolates. They're like THC chocolates. Oh yeah, nice. And uh, yeah, they were saying they were delicious. The Delta Nine or the Delta Eight or whatever. It I, was. You know, it was eight, nine, ten. I don't know. I yeah. Did, you know, it was four dollars. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so it was cool because uh, you know the whole Pride weekend. One thing I I did not mention is uh, see I was smart enough this year. Yeah. I like to go to Pride every year, although we didn't have it for two years. Oh yeah, uh, and uh, usually I park in the cheap places, which is like way um, a hike to get to the park. Yeah. This year I made that uh, the I, I was smart. I parked in the garage. The problem was when we had to get on the float. Yeah, uh, I thought uh, we, we were planning on getting there at nine thirty. It was ten thirty by the time we got there. <laughs> I uh, dude, I I walked past like four hospitals. I was like, "Oh my god, oxygen!" <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next flyer. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, this is gonna be really fun. So this is a uh, uh, a toy event. Uh, this is at Toy Du Jour, which is in Chicago, Illinois. Oh yeah. Um, this is a uh, like toy store slash gallery, and they're putting together this event, which is uh, put, uh, which was organized by Dano Brown toys uh and you can see some of the like these we're zooming in there you can see some of the names that are featured but uh the idea of this was the to take the old mcdonald's toy nuggets the old ones and do something with those like make okay, something okay. out of it you know and so a bondage mcnugget the bondage mcnugget <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> i don't know what that one's called but uh what the name on it was but yeah bondage mcnugget 
And um, oh, and he's got the whip too. Yeah, so I guess it's the Dom. <laughs> yeah. Yep. He's uh, Dom If you see right there in the middle, Buzzard Guts is listed. Okay. Yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. So that's cool. Dane. Oh, There's, they may have a set of 10 of those uh, Dominatrix so they're, nuggets. So they're limited edition to 10? Oh, no. You have to buy a 10-piece. You have to buy a 10-piece? It's piece? McDonald's stuff, right? <laughs> you know, it's either what, a 6-piece, a 10-piece, or a I 20. wonder if there would be somebody that would buy all 10 just to say they got the 10-piece. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, there's tons of names on there. Uh, it looks like names. Zoom it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Chicken Burger Disco's on there. I didn't see it. Oh, cool. I see a Tony Moore. Uh huh. Uh, junk Fed. Barbarian Rage. That's yeah. cool. Chinks. <laughs> Yuck Toys. Uh, yeah. Oh, Healy Made. Yeah. It was oh, on there. Yucko Chico. Toys. Man. Some really good ones. Allison Hoffman. Titty Bats. Remember Tony Titty Bats? <laughs> or Popish. Junk Death Fed. Toys. Yep. Yeah, bully hub. So uh, rainbow, uh, rainbow crumb, why room? I can't see crumb? it down there. It's too small. Rainbow. Yawn, rainbow yawn. Yawn. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, some really good. So this is going to be a fun and and. Oh yeah, which one was that? Lard humongous. Lard humongous. something brown. Dano brown. Eddie, uh, authenticity or something like that. So, yeah, uh, so Bunny Dan O'Brown was the person other. who put it all together, you know. Uh, so, Nuggets Only, that's what it's called. Um, and that's going to be on November 5th. So, maybe... Get maybe, there early if you want the 10-piece. And you can you can kind of, like, probably find a lot of these artists uh, uh, um, Instagram, and they're probably posting little previews of, of their work on it. And, I mean, there's... There's going to be that many different nuggets in this event. So that's going to be pretty interesting to see what everybody does, you know. Which is kind of funny. Okay, do you know that McDonald's actually has an adult Happy Meal? Well, yeah, I've been trying to find out more information about okay, that. Okay, yeah. yeah. So uh, you can either get the Big Mac or a 10-piece. Around here? No. You know why? Why? Sold out. Uh, like I mean, they sold out of the toys it. and everything. I heard about it, and I wasn't sure if they were doing it around here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I don't. know. Yeah. Damn it. I, so, I want to uh, get one yeah. of those. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm not I sure, forget. but all I know is like they've been advertising it. Yeah. I mean, and uh, I guess they they just thought they were going to test it or something. Yeah. And didn't realize that, uh, you know. I mean, I uh, think it's a all really. All of the millennials, they're used to growing up on Happy Meals. Yeah. Right. And, and you know, now the uh, the people, you know, who were kids in the 90s and the 80s growing up on collecting toys and, and playing with these toys. And now they're older and they're collectors and they're yeah. buyers and sellers. And to to be able to go buy a meal at McDonald's with another toy in it and and right. it's it's by de uh, some designer toy maker but yeah you, uh, you also have to understand okay like the old McDonald's back in the 70s you could actually ride the toys outside oh, yeah, like exactly. they were like these like you know springy rocky things yeah. right and then you go in and get a happy meal and have the same toy in it yeah i remember you that know? yeah and that was cool that was like or yeah. big entertainment. So, is that all the flyers? Is that everything they had left? Oh, we got one more. Oh yeah, we oh, showed yeah, yeah the Visions commercial earlier. We outside. showed that too. So that's still going on uh, currently at the Athens uh, Clark County Library. That was um, the two UFO guy experts. Yeah, yeah. And exactly. uh, if you are suffering from uh, Crohn's disease. <laughs> You might want to go pop in at the library and talk to those guys. And I know they have some good bathrooms in there. Yeah. And they're always clean. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of uh, cool art uh, that's alien, uh, UFO-inspired. Uh, so uh, we, you could see that on a couple episodes ago. We talked about that in depth uh, with yeah. them. So that was really awesome. But uh, that's going to be going on through November 22nd. So it's currently up right now. You right, can go yeah. there during the day. I think it is. Check that out. And I guess that's it. Well, you know, we've got the uh, James Webb Space Telescope and uh, Hubble 
kind of keeping an eye out just in case there's any space aliens flying around. But uh, just in <laughs> case there is one, make sure you uh, take a video of it and send it into the show, and we'll get it over to the experts. <laughs> All right, now we've got a couple other announcements of, of artists that are going to be in studio coming up. We have, uh, well, or calling in actually, Jay Otter, uh, Poetry Overlord, which uh, we Poetry we saw. Over. The uh, trailer that we showed earlier, which was the VSD or uh, uh, recovered footage movie trailer, um, nice. he's going to be on the show. We're going to be talking about his uh, independent film that he put together. Even um, better. Which he's showing uh, Hall Halloween night. He's he's premiering it Halloween night. Oh, in, yeah. That's the guy that we got to ask yeah. whether it's going to be, you know. At midnight on the 30th, right? <laughs> yeah. Or if it's going to be like... Oh, yeah, that's right. At midnight at the end of the night, yeah. going into the 1st. Yeah. So that's um ne uh, that's next week, uh, October 20th. So October also 20th, yeah. next week, we have live in studio, Jordan Zeno is going to be... Jordan Zeno! ...in the studio, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Um, and then, as we mentioned earlier, uh, October 27th, Tim Holhouse will be here. Yeah, and dude, I hope he brings some cool instruments. And he's bringing, actually, I, he's bringing somebody else with him. I, okay, I didn't yeah. have the name. I think that was Brighter was the name of the uh, artist. So um, we're going to have Brighter two. Perf what? Brighter is the name of the artist. Brighter? Brighter. Okay. Yeah. He's not. Now, is that Brighter Lightwise or is that Brighter? It's just Brighter. Brighter than. I don't know. Maybe it's their last or? name. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if they're gonna, if they we're going to be doing a test yeah. to see how right they are. May, we, maybe we will. That would be a cool thing. Yeah, <laughs> it remains to be seen. Yeah. All right, and so November third, getting into November, we have a Quinn O'Donnell. It's going to be here live. Quinn O'Donnell. And then November tenth uh, of Persephone, who oh, Persephone, who is performing this weekend here uh, as well, right at yes. the Athens VHS Fest. Yes. So. So don't forget to come down, and that's uh, on Saturday, noon until the uh, uh, what? Until the police arrive and tell us we <laughs> had to shut it down. Yeah. <laughs> so we're at least till like nine or ten o'clock. I guess it's going to be, um, but like uh, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. I, I I was saying maybe I'll go last just in case. You know, I'll, I'll do something quieter or something. You know, that maybe maybe the cops won't come. But right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. It's going to be fun, but we're going to have vendors all day. And food. Uh, and food and uh, little demonstrations and, and stuff. I've got a, lot, a little bit of fun all and, throughout uh, the day. be prepared to buy some cool stuff. Yep. And, yeah, find find that one you've been looking for. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, you know, I wanted to, you know, we're right at the end of the yep. show time, and I wanted to uh, thank uh, all of the people uh, involved. Uh, uh, so, first of all, we got Josh. Josh, he's doing the background. Josh Anderson from Super Carnival Rec Recordings. Right, it's from Super Carnival Recordings. Super Josh Carnival Anderson. Recordings. Who else we got back there? We got Dane Marks from Buzzard Guts. His, Dane his Marks running from the Buzzard controls, Guts. aka Eileen Burmax. And Eileen <laughs> Burmax, don't forget her. Yes. Yeah. And then we have Brad Staples. Yeah, and you, Brad Staples. You didn't really see him on the show as much, but you heard his, his but voice. But he did, he did give me all the uh, good cues of things to say. Yeah. <laughs> in spirit, yeah, and only I could hear him. Yeah. So it was kind of cool being in that, uh, you know, transcendental thing. You know, it's funny. <laughs> uh, it, we are into October here, right? And I yep. just realized yep. yesterday I have... Telekinetic powers. Oh, nice. Yeah. I was at work and I was sitting in the bathroom and I was thinking about flushing and I just leaned over and bam, it flushed it all just on flushed its own. All on its own. Wow, that's pretty amazing, man. You got to start somewhere. Yep. <laughs> uh, is that everybody? We, we oh, everybody? wait. Uh, oh, yeah. And, oh, uh, this is Rick Shot Ricochet right here. And we got our one and only Mr. Mux Blank. Yeah. And uh, uh, I wanted to thank uh, Mr. T. Chod for uh, yeah. uh, abandoning us in our time of need. Yep. <laughs> you know, um, you know, uh, on location. And hopefully he's got some good footage. Yeah, yeah. He, oh, yeah. That was actually something. He was, he was sent, trying to send us footage before the show. And I guess uh, we didn't get it. So maybe next week. Oh, we'll wait. Didn't you have a, uh, one of our shirts that you were supposed to be holding up to show people? What? 
you had one of our shirts down there, wasn't it? Oh, well, no, this was actually a shirt from the uh, Small Batch Toy Festival. Let's see if I got it here. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah, it doesn't look like a small, though. Yeah, it's not a small. That's, that's for sure. Extra large. Yeah, Small Batch Toy Festival. Uh, okay, So, cool. yeah, thank you, um, uh, uh, Andrew, and all everybody up at in LJ for hosting me for the weekend. That was awesome. So, so uh, don't forget to check out the cool merch we got on yeah, our site yeah. and the shoes, which are available for a limited time. Yep. Is it? No, you haven't finished yet. Yeah, we're still rolling, <laughs> we're Eileen. I'm just the only one that's <laughs> invisible. Yes. Yeah, we're still live. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, uh, hey, and uh, thanks, John Lester, and uh, who else we got in the chat still? Oh, yeah, Nerve Clinic, I see. Nerve you Clinic there. is still there, yeah. and yeah. I know I saw Chris Shu, and uh, don't oh, yeah. forget Avi Azor. Yeah. I wanted to thank him. Thanks, everybody, for joining us, and I guess we'll see you next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye.